Let's look at this. What it says here, using the method of joints, determine all zero force members of the flank group just shown in the figure. Assume all joints have been connected. So we are after the zero force member. Okay, I'll give you a minute, have a look, and tell me which members are zero force members. Have a minute, for one minute. Okay, couldn't find out. What we after is basically, yeah. Three members, three. which are four members. Three members. Anyone else? The four uh, members. Yes. Four members. Is anyone else? Yes, sir. Three members. Three. Okay, which one? Tell me first one. CG. CG. So, yes, I've got collinear. And the third one is a zero force member. So, this is zero. Okay. What next? CF. D. Yeah. Okay, so we've got collinear. The third one is a zero force number. Okay, third one. BH. No, there's an external force. So there's only two. There's only two. Now it's reduced to two. Anyone else? So CF and CH. CH, no, CH. How come there's polling? You've got one, two, three, and four. No, it has to be two collinear. And the third one, the maximum of three with no external force. Think. There's ten force here, so maybe there's a force here. You've got one member here, you've got another member here. Three members, this is the fourth one. So is it two? Yes, sir. It's two. Good one. Okay. Now stay with me. Okay, so you're saying this one is a zero force member, am I right? Yes. So we can get rid of it. So assume it does not exist. The other one you said that this is a zero force member, am I right? Yes. Yes. Sir. So it doesn't exist. So CG and df do not exist they are zero okay now think 
remember there's no member cg and there's no member tf now tell me is there any third one there's no cg in the diagram and there's no df in the diagram now tell me cf the cf cf yes that is also a zero force member when you did df that was zero what was left was this this and this now you do analysis again and it clearly tells us that this is also zero is that clear yes sir okay so let's see if if we were yes, right yes sir. say again sir uh, last time you said that we actually consult the original um, diagram for checking the zero force members original diagram yes sir the yes, one sir, all the members for uh, to us in the question not the one we augment by moving the zero force members yes sir so say again what did i say so that uh, while we analyze for the zero force members we consider all of the members including other zero force members sure Go through this one. Let's look at this one, okay? Looking at the whole picture, this is zero. You know this, okay? And this is zero. Is that clear? No issue? Yes, sir. So our diagram looks something like this. The question is, I do not understand what you mean by looking at the whole picture. So you said to us that uh, when analyzing for zero force members, you will like look at the original diagram given to us and the number yes. of zero force members you like get from it. That's the exact yes. number, not like uh, if you change the diagram, but that is by removing the zero force member you get in, the, in your first analyzation. And then check again for it. No, 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 no. What I mean to say, you look for zero force members on that whole diagram. So if zero, what what zero force member means? Can anyone tell me that? What zero force member means? So it will not affect the no structure if we remove them. So there is no force transmitted to that member. Hold on. Zero force member means that there is no force being transmitted through that member. So it means if I remove that member, nothing happens to the structure. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So if you look at DF, DF is a zero force member. It's, it's a zero force being applied. I'm not removing it now, okay? It's zero force, so there's no force here. So now if you look at the diagram, this becomes also zero force. Is that clear? Zero force member means there's no force being transmitted through that member. So you can remove it. It is just like, let me go back. And just like this example. What I can do, I can remove this and I can make this. Watch. Is this both equal? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it equal? So what I did, I got rid of this part. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes. So I moved it. Now I'm looking at this. And looking at this, I can remove this. So my diagram then looks something like this.
Is that right? So I moved a member and then you can draw it again and then you move another member. But if you can clearly see on the figure that there are two fourth, uh, zero fourth members, you can directly cancel them out. Is, is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So what you can do is you can get rid of this one and this one and make the diagram. You make your own diagram and then you will see that this member F1 is also a zero fourth member. You can get rid of this then and then you can further simplify. Is that clear? Yes. Sir. So just to prove that, let's look at this. Let's look to sum of all the forces on G. There's no force in 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 vertical diagram. Uh, uh, I'm 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 drawing the free body diagram of point G. Okay, so point G. So I've got two forces. So this one is equal to zero because there's no force underneath. So that's very much clear. And then if I look at joint D. Let's look at joint D. D has got forces. That's this one I'm talking about. You got another force here. And some of all the force along this axis, because there's no force here, therefore this is zero. So you do some of all the forces, you get zero. And if you look at F, F, this is already zero. We mentioned it. That's this one. That's already zero. We do some of all the forces, it comes out as the, the, the component of this one. That's also zero. Look, I picked F, I have applied the zero, and then still I get my FC zero. Is that clear now? Yes, sir. Can I move on? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. And if you do analyze DB on B, look, you've got two forces, but you've got an external force also. There are three forces on B. So that's B, three body diagram, and there's no zero force member on B. We cannot say that BH is a zero force member because for zero force member, you need a collinear with no external force on the joint or no support on the joint. Yet it's not uh, a zero force member. I mean, if you analyze, you get the value of Any question related to this example? Mm, uh, sir, uh, I wanted to ask that uh, uh, in uh, while studying a, a, a zero force member, uh, for example, yeah. this D joint, uh, on this D joint, the forces FC and uh, CD and DE would be equal and opposite, exactly equal and opposite. CD and ED. Yes. Yes, some of all the forces, if I look at D and do some of all the forces, the equation tells me it is equal. Okay, sir. Any other question? So uh, the uh, this D joint doesn't this D joint doesn't necessarily uh, experience any force, right? No, D joint does experience it. If I've got like five hundred newton here and five newton here, there's a compression force then. Okay, okay, okay. All right. 